So a while ago, I made a video shedding some light on why it seems that girls always go for jerks and not nice guys. Click my face to see that video. Now, in that video, I kind of made it seem hopeless for nice guys, telling you things like, stick it out, you'll win in the long run. And I realized nobody wants to hear that. This is your youth. You want to have fun socialize, go on dates, make out with people. I understand. And some of you probably don't mind being a jerk if it gets you what you want. But I also know that some of you are not comfortable with being an asshole to people, and I am with you. But you still want the benefits that all the jerks get. That's not fair at all. So in this video, we're gonna try to come up with a plan as to how to get girls to like you without being an asshole. I wanna tell you up front, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for wusses. This is not for children. You will risk rejection and embarrassment, and you might even have to spend money. Also, I wanna tell you that this is mainly geared towards people between the ages of like 16 and 25. Like if you're 13 or 40, I don't really know how that works at all. But you can try it and let me know how that works. Anyway, let's get started. This is what I like to call my L2 system. And if you're not a video game nerd like me, then the L stands for learn, the 2 stands for 2. The very first thing that you need to do before you even embark on this whole thing is L2 pick them. Basically, what I'm saying is there are lots of girls out there that are just not worth your time. And a lot of these girls are very, very hot, so it can be hard to determine which ones are which. So here's an idea. It's an incomplete list of types of girls that you need to just avoid. Mean girls, dumb girls, girls with no personality, liars, sluts, smelly girls, gold diggers. Okay, now that you have some idea of what to look out for, the next thing you have to do is L2, be attractive. And you know, this, I can kind of get really in depth in this, and if you want to, I will, but it's not that hard. We're not gonna kid ourselves. Some guys are just better looking than other guys. You know, if I go into a party or, or something like that, there might be some people that think I'm pretty cute, but like say Johnny Depp walks in after me, okay? I'm gonna be at a disadvantage. I just like, can't get around that. Don't worry about it. There's lots of things you can do to make yourself more attractive. Like L2, get a haircut. And I fully see the irony of me telling someone to get a haircut, but I'm not the one complaining, so shut up. I'm just saying, I can't tell you how many times I see guys complaining about not having a girlfriend when they look like they just crawled out of a dumpster? Well, no shit, bro. Nobody wants to date the swamp thing. Wear nice, clean clothes that fit you. I mean, I know this, but you know how guys usually like when girls wear clothes that accentuates their body? Well, girls like that on guys, too. So give them girls something to look at. So once you get the look down, next you're gonna have to L2 have a conversation. And admittedly, it kind of takes a lot of practice if you're not good at it already. Really, I don't think I'm really that great at it, but I get by. Basically, you have to learn how to be engaging and interesting when talking to people. Now, this is probably going to seem like cliched advice, but it's true. The best way to do it is just be yourself. Because ultimately, that's who you want this girl to like, is yourself and not some character you're playing or something you made up. But in order to be yourself, you have to like yourself. And in order to like yourself, you have to L to be confident. Generally, the prettier that the world has convinced this girl that she is, the more confident you have to be to get her attention. Uh, to be frank, basically you have to be convinced that you are the shit. Or at least make it seem that way. And you'll find that the more confident you are, the easier it is to have conversations with people. Think about the conversations that you have with your friends and family. Those aren't usually awkward, are they? You don't run out of things to say. You just gotta learn how to do that with everybody. Obviously, some people are just really awkward to talk to anyway. And there's nothing you can do about that. I can't tell you what to do if you have low self-esteem or something like that. That's, I'm not qualified to give you any advice on that. But if your confidence is not stemmed in some kind of clinical issue, then all it really takes is an act of willpower. Do it. Go. You see a girl? Go talk to her. Don't think about it. Just do it. You some, got something to say? Just say it. You'd be surprised how not a big deal it is. You might think what you're about to say is something stupid, but if you, if you think that you're the shit, it doesn't matter. 
Everything you do is awesome. One really important rule to having a good conversation with somebody, avoid small talk at all costs. Small talk never ever leads to good conversations. It's just filler. Small talk conversations are like, hi, how you doing? How's it going? What are you up to? Uh, what do you do? Like, is that's not interesting. Nobody cares. You gotta come up with interesting things to say. Engage her. Ask her questions. Tell stories. You know, things like that. Avoid small talk. Keep that in your mind. That's a good rule. Now, I realized that I had a whole lot to say about this. So I'm gonna split this video into two parts, and this will be part one. And I'll try to release part two in the next couple of days. But I think this is a good starting point for people that are, you know, kind of anxious about even talking to a girl in the first place. Uh, these are uh, some good little pointers to start out with. If you can manage to just be confident and have interesting conversations and avoid small talk, you'll find that you are getting a lot more good reception from girls when you talk to them. Like, you'll see it. The reason that girls seem to go for assholes in the first place, as I mentioned in that video, is because they want something different. And this is how you, as a nice guy, are gonna be different. See, every other guy, they go up to her, they're all shifty and nervous, and they just use lines and small talk and all that stuff, and that's what girls are used to. So what you're gonna do is be confident, and maybe a little bit cocky, but not mean. And you're gonna have, you're gonna be engaging. Think of some stories to tell. Think about things that happen in your life that you can tell her that's interesting. Everybody has stories. You might think that you lead a boring life, but nobody's life is boring. And get her into the conversation. Ask her questions. Anyway, stay tuned to my channel for part two. Uh, in part two, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, you know? get to the where you actually make your move which is very important because a lot of a lot of guys are scared to make a move and it's one of the most important parts of this whole thing so if you want to if you want to see that video you might want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but look at that i noticed that i've reached a hundred subscribers and it only took me like three years and that's something no I, I appreciate all my subscribers uh Share it with your friends if you think it's is interesting. Um, uh, comment. I wanted. I really do want to know what you guys think about this. This is like we can have a good discussion about this. And thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't like. But yeah, part two coming soon. Holla.